Hello you, welcome to Geekism, and uh, we've done a little bit of work off camera, just basically just played a day, uh, planted some potatoes, thank you very much to the person in the comments, it's suggested potatoes were the way to go, so we've got, uh, pretty much spent all my money on some potatoes, and they're getting there and there as well, uh, they've got me up to level 1 on my farming, which means we can then build a scarecrow, which is something uh, that somebody else has recommended I do as well, thank you so much for all the help you've been, uh, you've been giving, I think I need coal, stone and wood, might not be enough though, let's have a look. Uh, it's under here, under crafting, there we go. We need uh, 50, oh no, fibre it is, sorry, not stone. Uh, that can go back. Fibre we have plenty of. So that should mean we can build our scarecrow. That's great, so we'll put you there. And oh, I'm going to carry it around on my head. Uh, we'll put you there, I think. And that's just like an 8x8 radius, so that should cover all of this and, uh, and this area when we carry on to it as well. So that's pretty neat, we've now got a scarecrow down. And uh, thank you very much for all the lovely comments you've had about this series and about how we need to do stuff and what I need to do. So thank you very much. It's really helping. Um, a few other things. Let's dump all this stuff first of all. Let's uh, let's clear up our inventory a little bit. We've got the got the chest now. That's doing a great job. And uh, so a few things have happened while I've uh, while I've been playing off camera. Little things really. Uh, one of which is um, uh, I need to build a chicken coop by talking to somebody. And uh, also, we need to go and investigate the community centre. I think that's what we're going to do first. We're going to go and have a check out of the community centre. Uh, so when I came into town the other day to buy some potato seeds, uh, it showed me a uh, a little sort of video of the community centre. And uh, the, the place is a mess and there's some little thing crawling around inside it. I thought it was up here. It must not be. Let's have a look at the community Oh, no, it is, yeah. Um, and it said, come back here when I've got a bit more time to check the place out. So that's what we're going to do. As soon as I can figure out how the hell to get up here. Ah, here it is. I'm walking around the back of it. So I'm assuming this is another, like very much sort of Harvest Moon and uh, a bit of Animal Crossing as well. You know, we're going to build up these areas. Uh, let's have a look. So we need to investigate this area. There was little guy turning up. And he was, I don't want to smash everything with an axe. I don't mean, that's not what I mean to do. I, don't, I certainly don't mean to fish. Um, I guess I'll just have to use that. Let's have a look on the bulletin board. Anything? No. Painting down here? No. Uh, oh, a big old safe. There's nothing inside there. How about down here? Looks like this is the boiler room. Nothing down here to take hold of. Hmm. So yeah, I think this is going to be one of those sort of jobs where we Look at slowly building it up over time. That's quite nice. I like that sort of thing in games. I really do. Uh, what have we got here in the fire? Can we get the fire going? No, we can't. Uh, a bit of paper down here. Aha! That's certainly something. Let's head down there. But first of all, can we get in this little hut? No, we can't. What about up here? No, I'm pretty sure it wants us to come down here and see this little guy. Hello. You've swum away. What's this? Oh, look at that. Funky writing, okay. Hasn't really helped, to be honest. I was hoping we'd get a little bit more interest than that. This looks like it was once a kitchen, maybe? Hmm. I can't take it. can't actually do anything with it. And doesn't want to show me anything about these. Hmm, okay. Uh, maybe somebody's outside there. That's usually what happens. No. Let's have a look what it says here. Done. Uh, as you gain experience, you'll craft new... Oh, that was the uh, that was the scarecrow. That's good. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, raising animals. Hmm. Okay, well, that was it then. There was a quest saying go and check out the thing, but it's gone now. So, build a coop, then let's do that. Lives north of town in exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm, uh, robbing the local carpenter. So, let's find her. She lives north of town. Uh, whoops, it is. Um, carpenter shop, there we go. Home of Robin. So, if we come here to the right, we'll hit the, uh, the path, hopefully. And that should take us up to the carpenter's shop. And then we'll see about getting this coop. I think a silo, somebody said, was very important as well. You want a silo pretty early on. Is this it? Let's head in. Oh, yeah, this looks promising. Uh, Maru. Do you know my dad, Demetrius? He's a scientist. Oh, cool. 
This is him over here. I'm just walking into your laboratory, mate. Uh, ah, yeah. If compounds in the riser sphere contain sufficient levels of carbon-13, then... Oh, sorry, I was pondering some data. I didn't notice you there. You carry on, pal. You're doing a fine job. Um, let's see, because I'm still doing this whole meeting people thing, so I'm hoping this is counting. I'm 19. There's still eight people out there I've not met yet. Okay, let's have a look at this lady here, see how much stuff's going to cost me. Uh, oops, consult you. There we go. Uh, construct... Okay, so shop, first of all. Oh, we can just buy stuff. Basic window. Oh, that's cool. So it looks like we can actually... Oh, these are interior things. Ah, nice. Oh, wow, there's loads of stuff. Cool. Uh, we don't want to do that, though. We want to have a look at upgrade house. I can increase the size of your house and add a kitchen. It will cost 10G, and you'll also need to buy me with 450 pieces of wood. I am interested, but it's obviously a bit further away. Uh, a coop. 4G? Jesus. Uh, loads of wood and loads of stone. A barn. 6G. Six grand. Wooden stone. A well. A thousand and stone. A sea like that. Yeah, this is what they said is an important thing. Always try to always allows you to cut and store grass for feed. Yeah, that is a, like a big thing that apparently. Slime hutch. Raise up to 20 slimes. Oh wow, there's so much different stuff. Okay, so I know we need to do coop. We need to work towards this. Copper bar, clay, stone. Okay, right, let's head back. And uh, let's get working. The other thing people have mentioned a lot, actually, is worms. We need to keep our eye out for wiggly worms in the ground. And they're going to give us little uh, little cool little bits. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying my best to keep my eye out for these. I want to talk to you, please. Why can't I talk to you? No, you don't want to talk to me. Fine. Uh, yeah, little, little worms and stuff. I, I've not actually noticed them while I was running around. Um, but people have pointed them out. That's Abigail, is that? I'm trying to remember who everyone is. I don't want to... No, I'm not trying to... Yeah, there we go. Fresh mountain air is nice on days like this. Okay, Abigail. Um, yeah, trying to uh, remember where everyone is. Trying to remember to keep my eye out for stuff. It just seems like it's quite a big learning curve. There seems to be a lot going on here. So what I might have to do is play for a few days and just kind of build up the coffers a little, you know. Get some wood, get some stone. Um... That's probably what I'm going to do at the end of this episode. I might just play for an hour or two and just uh, just do a little bit of work. You know, we've got all these trees here, and uh, this little area here seems to be pretty overgrown. I'm assuming that these trees here are, are ones that have, have, have appeared from seeds that have been planted randomly, because I really don't remember planting all these here. You know, like seeds have come off the trees and landed and uh, I've not picked them up. I think that's probably what's happened. But we need loads of wood, so these trees have got to go. Uh, we're going to have to clear all this area out. I've had a few watches of some videos of people, and my word, there is so much you can do on the farm. There is so much sort of creativity and ways to develop the place. It looks awesome. I'm really quite amazed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work on getting some of this wood down, and then we'll come back and see where we're up to. Sure. Well, I've just woke up uh, another morning, and there's a lady waiting at the door for me. Marnie, her name is. Uh, you see this dog here? I do see this dog here. Uh, oh, do I get a pet dog? Oh, he's a very happy little dog. Uh, I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think he's a stray, the poor thing. Oh. Well, we'll happily take you on board. Seems like this place... Uh, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? Yes, I do. Yes, we'll have him. Oh, what do we call the dog? Um, What's a good dog's name? Fido? It's a bit boring, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's a random button. Let's click the random button. The option it gave me was Pratchy, or Wona, or Murtu, or Gee, or Seller. These are all really awful names. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll call it Duke. Oops, my cat's looks wrong. Uh, Duke was my dog growing up, so we'll have that. There we go. Uh, well, Duke, you be a good pooch now. <laughs> okay, I hope we haven't got to feed him and stuff. Should have probably thought about that, shouldn't I, before I adopted him? Uh, oh, he's run off. We no longer have uh, a dog. Or if we do, he's gone off somewhere. Um, I'd like to apologise for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It really is a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some more materials and a fee, I will expand your... Uh, the first special offer comes with kitchen. Yes, yes, yes. We've spoke to her, haven't we, already? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, oh, this must have been a tree that we planted. Because that wasn't there yesterday. 
We'll get rid of that. And then we're going to quickly water the plants and we're going to head over to the wizard's tower. I got a letter while I was working on these. Uh, these are all more potatoes, by the way. Uh, while I was working on the potatoes, saying that if you want to figure out what's going on in the, uh, in the community hall, you need to come and see me. And it was from a wizard. So we're going to do that quick. Uh, so far, I'm loving the mix of like creativity in the farm, actually building stuff, and you know, having a bit of story as well. You know, the, one of the big problems with these sort of creative games that we play, there's very little in the way of story. You know, you you kind of just build something and you, and you're happy with your build. But uh, there is something quite nice about having an actual narrative to play. Uh, we've got some potatoes here. They should they should finish growing in a couple of different batches because I planted first lot, and then once I made a, enough money. Okay, I started a second batch as well, so these should plant over a couple of days, uh, grow over a couple of days. Even I think they say six days, so these this this lot on the right here should be almost ready actually. Um, just quickly finish off watering these, and we'll head out. Okay, cool. So I think it's to the left of us. Uh, yeah, it's down here. I can't remember how we got there. I think we have to go sort of round the bottom of this pond here. So let's head out this way and see if we can get across this way. We've still got this building here. I have no idea what that's for yet. Um, not too sure if there's a way through here. We might have to just get rid of the odd bit. Uh, there's some nice big trees over here. Um, it looks like this is just going to send us down to... Somebody pointed out that that doesn't require energy, which is fantastic. Um, which way can we go? Let's go this... Whoops, let's go this way. Get rid of this bit of wood here. And we'll carry on down. Placing fiber as we go. Yeah. Okay. So there isn't a way out this way. That's fine though. We can uh, we can make it work still. Let's see if we can make this little. There was a little guy running off there. I don't believe I can do anything with those. I mean, maybe I can, but I did try chasing a couple. Wasn't having any of it. Uh, there we go. A bit annoying having to keep cutting through. Okay. So here's the way out. So I'm pretty sure our uh, wizard's uh, wizard's tail was over this way. There was a rabbit there. Uh, let's see if we can get up this way. It's a nice big tree. Look at this. If we can cut this down or not. Doesn't look like it, does it? Nice big tree anyway. Uh, can we get through here? Yeah, this looks like a wizard's tower if ever I've seen one. Very neat. Uh, there's a way up though. Let's have a look. See if we can get round. We can. Fantastic. Uh, oh, this looks forageable. What's that? A wild horseradish. Awesome. Uh, sorry if I'm missing stuff. I'm, I'm not great at just picking up things on the side. You know, I miss them a lot. So I hope I'm not missing too many. Um, can we go in? Yes, we can. Uh, here he is. The man himself. Hopefully he'll give us a bit of insight into the community centre. His name is just Wizard. Good. I spelt with one Z. Or one Z. I know where you're from. I am a Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truce, mediary between physical and ethereal master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred... Yeah, okay, we do get the point. I was just about to say, we get the points. <laughs> yeah, and I'm the one whose arrival he's seen for a long time. Wow, hey, I'm the chosen one. Here, I'd like to show you something. Oh, careful. Behold. Ah, yes, that's it. That's the little thing I've been seeing. It's squeaking. Some nice lighting effects on here. Uh, I've seen one of these before, haven't you? Yes, I have. It looks like an apple. It looks like an apple with legs. Junimo's mysterious sprites, uh, spirit. Sorry, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Okay. Cutscene or armor? Let's uh, let's just get through this. Okay. Cutscene over. I got a little high, and uh, and now I can read the scrolls of the Junitude Tupers. So we're going to head back up there and see if we can actually do something in the community centre. Uh, I'd like to start work on that in this episode, really, because that's kind of what we've been working towards, isn't it? So let's see if we can get through here. We can. That's great. So we should be able to just nip across here. Quest-wise, what have we got actually going on at the moment? Just uh, building the coop, and we've still got... An that didn't count as a person, because we've still got eight people to meet as well. Um, so we're working towards it. Um, pretty sure we've been in all these farms. Let me know if you've played this game and you can think of any people I haven't uh, yet met. I can't remember where the community centre is. It's up here, isn't it? Yeah, we're at the wrong end of town. That's fine, we can nip up. Okay, we're inside. So now I'm hoping this little guy isn't going to run off anymore. Or is he just taking the... Oh no, it's still here. Yeah, he's running away still. 
Uh, ah, I see. So, reward, bridge repair. What? Um, summer foraging, bundle exotic foraging, spring foraging, click that. Uh, wild horse radish, daffodil, leek, and dandelion. Ah, I see. So if we provide that, we get something? Wild horse radish, daffodil, leek, and dandelion. Ah, okay, cool. Let's go for that thing. I think I've got... I've got the daffodil. And obviously we've got... Oh, I think I sold all the leeks. Hmm. And dandelion. I haven't seen a single dandelion yet. Um, Alright, I'll keep looking. Oh, another day. Another person wake, waiting for me when I wake up like a weirdo. Uh, good morning, Clint. I've noticed you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. Yes, I have. Uh, if you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. It also happens. had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. You can have them. Oh, how nice of you. Um, thanks. I've learned how to craft a furnace. Craft a furnace. Uh, helps you uh, to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, or tool upgrades. Okay, thanks, Clint. Um, when you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having an upgrade uh, one of your tools. It can make it work a lot easier. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's so. I, while I was looking around for stuff, I uh, I found a mine. Uh, I didn't really do that much in it though, but uh, I had a little look around. Another letter as well. There's just stuff every day here to do. Um, I lost my favourite axe. If you find it, please return it ASAP. I have a tough time without it. There's 250G in it for every finds a thing. Okay, well, where could that be? The last time she remembers using it, she was cutting wood south of Marnie's ranch. Okay, cool. We'll head out for that as well. Uh, so let's have a look what we need for that furnace. Um, there, furnace. Copper ore. Wow, 20. And 25 stone. Alright, so we're not quite ready there yet. Are these potatoes ready to hatch? Hatch? I mean... You know, be pulled up. They are. Let's have a look. Um, we'll keep. Ho oh yeah, the the guy in the the guy in the place gave me a rusty sword. So thanks to that. Um, let's have a look. Are we getting more than one? Sometimes. Sometimes you get more than one. Oh, the dogs up there look playing about. That's cute. Okay, so we got twenty. Oh, we got a star one. What does that mean? It gives a bit more health and a bit more energy. Um, okay, well, I don't. I think I'm just going to sell them because I need some cash. I've got absolutely no cash luck. So let's sell those. Maybe get more money for the star one. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know if I've done the wrong thing there. Um, have we got any more seeds? We have two potato seeds. That's a bit naff, isn't it? We kind of need the money off those ones before we can carry on. Well, I'll tell you what, then, while we're up and about, we'll go and have a look uh, to see if we can find that axe. Uh, let's have a look. We need to get down to the ranch. That's down this way. So we're slowly clearing the area out. It's taking a little bit longer than I'd like it to, but man, there's so much stuff here. I don't want to cut all this down until we've got our silo. Um, but we're going to do a bit of work to get through here, aren't we? This sort of stuff doesn't matter too much. We can get rid of this. There we go. Uh, somebody also pointed out that the seeds are very good for making little nature bars. So that's cool as well. See, this is the silo. We need one of these bad boys. So this is here, I think, is Marnie's ranch. Let me read the sign. No, nine till six. Well, I think it is. So we need to... Oh, look. Horse radish. We need one of those. Uh, I did have one, but I accidentally ate it. <laughs> um, the woods south of the ranch. Let's have a look then down here. See if we can find some woods. We have a full inventory again. This is the problem, man. The inventory fills up so quick. What are you? Oh, we need them, whatever they are. Uh, there's lowers down here. Oh, what a mess this place is. This is the sewage. Oh, we need to do a bit of work cleaning that up, I think. Uh, let's have a look, see if we can find... There it is. Okay, so we need that, but our inventory's full. What can we... We can get away with no stone, I think. We can... Yeah, we can manage without that stone. Let's return it to Robin. Robin is the carpenter, I think. Um, Pierre's general store. Who's this? Carpenter's shop, home of Robin. Yep, yeah, there we go. Right, let's head up there. Hand in the uh, the axe for a quick book. And uh, I think we should probably come back. Let's just get rid of that one bit of wood, just because I want to see what these are. I think these are leeks. Oh, spring onion. Cool. No, don't eat them. See, that's what I did by accident. 
Um, I'll take these though, because these have got to be worth a few quid, I reckon. And there was one more down here. Yeah, right, grown in the sewage. Mm-mm. That'll be tasty. Tasty spring onion. Uh, okay, we'll go and turn that axe in. I think that'll have to do for this episode. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. You're welcome. We can, oops, knock the microphone in, in jubilation. Uh, so we've still got those little things. Mining, forging, raising animals, instructions. It's basically a case of getting some money coming in there, though, to be honest. So I think I'll probably play, oh, sorry, Abigail. I think I'll probably play a couple of days um, on my own just to sign of kind of again figure it out a little bit as well apologies that we're kind of all over the place you know still learning a lot with this game but i'm having so much fun with it that's daffodil see i know to pick those up now uh you know thank you so much for all the comments in the previous videos and again i hope you point out some little tips for me in this one as well uh thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions pop them down in the comments if you fancy a chat you can find me on Twitter, I'm at John T. Sparrow, and remember to join in with the Geekism community using our Discord server, the link is in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.